As always, I believe you will get the most effective practice if you put away your notes and calculator when you work on the multiple choice questions in this video. So if you don't feel ready yet, you may wish to pause this video and review a little bit before continuing. Are you ready? A box with mass m sliding on a horizontal table has an initial velocity of vo. A constant friction acts on the box until it comes to rest two seconds later. Which of the following best represents the kinetic energy of the object as a function of time in those two seconds? The box is sliding on a horizontal table, so normal force and mg cancel each other. The net force on the box is the constant friction. Constant net force, that means the acceleration must be a constant. So it is a constant acceleration motion. We're looking for the kinetic energy, and kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared, and we want the kinetic energy to be a function of time. And 1 half and m, they are constants. So if we can write the velocity as a function of time, then we can easily have the kinetic energy. And uh, for constant acceleration motion, it's not hard to write the velocity as a function of time because we have this uh, v equals to vo plus at. And if I say the initial velocity is positive because uh, the box is slowing down, the acceleration would have to be in the opposite direction to the velocity, so the acceleration must be negative. Therefore, kinetic energy is 1 half m v squared. And just remember, the acceleration is a negative number here. So your kinetic energy must be a second degree equation t squared over here. So second degree equation and parabola. That means that it can only be a or e and none of the other ones. Now, which one of those two should we choose? Now, in math, you may have learned that if you have a second degree equation like this, it must be an upward curve. One thing you can use to judge whether your parabola goes like this or that is for you to look at the time. Let's say if the time is a really large number, then this will be a really large negative number. And then if you square this really large negative number, you're going to get a really large positive number. So when the time gets bigger, the kinetic energy is going to be a large positive number. So it is uh, this one, upward curve, not a downward curve. So the answer is uh, A. Another way you can use to decide this is uh, you can plot the velocity as a function of time. It starts at VO and uh, it's a linear equation with a negative slope, so it goes down like that. At 2 seconds, the velocity becomes 0. That means that at 1 second, the velocity is uh, halved. And the kinetic energy is 1 half m v squared, 1 half and m, they are constants because it's the same box, the mass doesn't change. 1 half is always a constant, so this is a kinetic energy is uh, proportional to v squared. And uh, if at 1 second, if the velocity becomes the halved, that means the kinetic energy has to become 1 fourth. And this is the one, this is the parabola that has the kinetic energy that's uh, one fourth of the original value at one second. So either way, you can tell that the answer is uh, A. An object is released from rest at a height h above ground and begins to fall. Consider the potential energy to be zero at the ground. How high above ground is the object the moment when its kinetic energy equals to twice its potential energy? 3 fourths h, 2 thirds h, 1 half h, 1 third h, or 1 fourth h? In this problem, we're going to ignore air resistance. 
So no mechanical energy is being lost to heat. So the total mechanical energy is going to stay a constant. And that means the total mechanical energy at any moment equals to the total mechanical energy at the beginning. And we have enough information at the beginning to find this because we know this object starts from rest, no kinetic energy. It's a height h above ground, so there is mgy, so it's mg, and the height above ground will be h. There's no spring to worry about in this case. Now, at that particular moment, at that moment, the e is k plus u. If you want, you can write the final over there, or k, write k2, the second stage. And we know that the kinetic energy equals to twice the potential energy. So this can be rewritten as twice the potential energy. So this equals to three times the potential energy, and the potential energy is mgy. And that will be the final height. So if you set these two to equal and cancel the mg, you will get h to equal to three final height. And so the final height, the height at that moment is h divided by 3. The answer is 